Let's continue with chapter 6.3 notes and this is example 3. Uh, we're going to continue with solving differential equations. So find a general solution of 2x plus 3y, y prime is equal to 0. Uh, then uh, find the particular uh, solution y equals f of x if the solution passes through the point 1, negative 2. So uh, let me highlight the steps that we'll be taking. We're going to first rewrite y prime as dy over dx. Next, we're going to separate the variables. We're going to have the y's on the left and the x's on the right. Solve our indefinite integral. And finally, um, we're going to find the specific solution uh, by finding the c value. We're going to plug in the order pair 1, negative 2 in order to do that. So, uh, 2x plus 3y, y prime equals 0. We're going to um, rewrite y prime as dy over dx. Separate the variables. Let's have the y's on the left. And we're going to start by moving the 2x to the right side of the equation. I'm also going to divide both sides by 3. So y dy is equal to negative 2 thirds x dx. Let's go ahead and find the uh, indefinite integral of both sides. Um, integral of y dy is equal to negative integral of negative 2 thirds x dx. And I'm, I'm just taking steps here um, to isolate the y and the dy's and everything else on the right side. Um, because my goal is to eventually work towards solving for, for y. Uh, so the integral, go through power rule, integral of y is simply y squared over 2. Integral of negative 2 thirds x is simply negative 2 thirds times x squared over 2. The 2's cancel out and I'm going to uh, move the 2 to the right side. Um, that's uh, this 2 that's produced uh, from my power rule. And uh, y squared over 2 is, is equal to negative 1 third x squared plus c. So when I multiply both sides by 2, I'm going to be left with y squared is equal to negative 2 thirds x squared plus c. Now at this point, I'm going to uh, plug in and solve for c. It's going to be a little bit easier um, rather than having to wait to solve for y because then we're going to be left with a square root. We can still do it, but in this case, it's a little bit easier to plug in. So I'm going to choose this step to plug in my ordered pair and solve for c. The ordered pair in the problem is 1, negative 2. So 1 plugs in for x negative 2 plugs in for y. So we're going to get negative 2 quantity squared is equal to negative 2 thirds 1 squared plus c. So we get 4 is equal to negative 2 thirds plus c. And add 2 thirds to both sides. We get 4 is the same thing as 12 over 3 plus 2 thirds, which is 14 thirds. So we solve for c. And we're now left with y squared is equal to negative two-thirds x squared plus 14 over 3. Um, now in the back of the book um, they accept this as a uh, um, as an acceptable solution but we're gonna go a little bit further we're gonna solve for y um, this will be an important uh, thing that we're gonna need to do uh, for the test as well as for the AP exam as well so uh, if we solve for y we're going to be uh, uh, we're going to Take, have to take the square root of both sides uh, to get rid of the y squared. And when we do that, on the right side, we're going to be left with two uh, functions. We have a positive square root function and a negative square root function. And these are two separate equations. So we're going to have to test which one of these equations um, will be true for 1, negative 2. Okay? It has to pass through 1, negative 2, and only one of these equations um, will be correct. So we're going to take turns plugging this order pair into each of these um, uh, two uh, forms of uh, the square root, the positive and the negative. So let's plug in the positive one first. So 1 goes in for x, negative 2 goes in for y. Now the inside here will reduce to be 12 over 3, which is 4. And positive square root of 4 is a 2, but that's not going to be equal to negative 2. So we know that the positive square root function uh, will not pass through 1, negative 2. So let's test the negative version. 
Again, plug in 1 for x, negative 2 in for y, but now we're testing with a negative square root version. The inside here cancels out, reduces to be a positive 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Negative 2 does equal to negative 2. So this particular solution uh, equation that um, will pass through 1, negative 2 is therefore the negative square root function, negative square root of negative 2 thirds, x squared plus 14 over 3. Let's continue with um, example four. This is the last example for um, section 6.3 notes. So example four says find a general solution to y, y prime is equal to six cosine of pi x. Then find the particular solution y equals f of x if the function passes through the ordered pair one, two. Okay, so we start off with uh, y y prime is equal to 6 cosine of pi x. Um, let's rewrite y prime as dy over dx. So if we look, this is already uh, pretty much separated. The only thing we need to do is move the dx over to the right side. So y dy is equal to 6 cosine pi x dx. Take the indefinite integral of both sides. Integral of y dy is equal to integral of cosine pi x dx. Uh, the left side is simply power rule, y squared over 2. Now the right side, we see um, that we have to go through u substitution because we have any something that is more than just an x. We do have a rule for cosine of u, but this uh, cosine of x, but when we have a pi x here, this will produce a coefficient, so we have to make sure we keep track of that. So let the u value be pi x. Our derivative is simply pi. Solve for dx, dx equals du over pi, and we make our substitutions. So pi x gets replaced with u, uh, dx gets replaced with du over pi. Now we have some coefficients that we can pull to the outside. The 6 over pi can be pulled as a coefficient. So integral of cosine of u is left, and we can find the indefinite integral there. Cosine of u is simply uh, sine of u, and we keep the coefficient plus c. And I'm also going to go ahead and uh, multiply uh, through by 2. So y squared is equal to 12 over pi sine of pi x plus c. And uh, when I distribute the, the 2 to the right side, I just have the c uh, representing the constants. Um, 2 times c is still going to be c. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, at this step, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my ordered pair. So 1 goes in for x, 2 goes in for y. So we get 4 is equal to 12 over pi sine of pi plus c. We're taking steps to solve for c. So let's look at what we can do to simplify. Sine of pi is simply 0. So anything times 0 will remain 0. The right, the left side is just 4. So c is equal to 4. So we see that y squared is equal to 12 over pi sine the pi x plus 4. Okay, so let's move here and see what we have uh, left to do. Uh, we want to solve for y. Um, so take the square root of both sides and just like the last problem we're going to be left with a positive and a negative version of a square root function and we're going to have to decide which one uh, is true for the order pair 1, 2. Okay, that's given in the problem here. So we're going to take turns plugging um, the ordered pair into uh, each of the separate equations. So into the positive version first. 1 goes in for x, 2 goes in for y. Uh, sine of pi is again 0. And we get 4, square root of 4 is equal to 2. So 2 does equal to 2, so that's true. And just to confirm that the other one is not going to work, we can plug 2 in for x. Uh, sorry, 1 in for x, 2 in for y. All this cancels out to be a positive 4, but there's a negative outside, so negative square root of 4 is negative 2, so negative 2 does not equal to 2. So we know y is simply equal to the positive version, positive square root of 12 over pi, sine of pi x plus 4.